Video take three. Yeah, I'm back guys. This is the third take. First time I didn't look in the iPad, I looked in the monitor, so I, I was talking to the wall and you were thinking, oh, what's she doing? Uh, second time it was slow motion. I must have pressed slow motion because I was all going wow, wow, and nothing happened. So um, this is the intro. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put some medium on a very cheap printer paper. Then I'm going to print it and try to do a transfer with the inkjet printer, which is pretty interesting because, um, you know, a lot of people have inkjet printers and not laser printers. So we want to use our ink inkjet printers, which I would really like to use because I'd like to transfer something in color. Um, also, at the end of this video, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to embed um, an older video, uh, ones, you know, where I'm thinking, oh, well, that's kind of cool when I look back at it. I'm thinking, wow, did I do that? <laughs> so <laughs> I want to give you that link. And um, I want to show you how long my hair is because a lot of people thought I had a wig, but it's not a wig. Sorry about that. It's just real hair and it grows. So I have to paint it every once in a while. I know you call it coloring, but that has to happen. And um, I was gonna cut it, cut it short, you know, for a while back I told you guys I'm gonna cut it. But then I thought, you know, I'm at the age where you can put it up, you know, and I might try that, so I'm not gonna cut it anymore. So I'll see you in the real video. I'll be right back in a flash. See you. Okay, guys, we're back. Yes, um, I'm not too used to being on video with my face. I don't like it. <laughs> I think you can notice that. I don't know what to look to. And um, first I'm looking on the monitor, then I'm looking on the uh, iPad on the little eye on the back. But I'm not really uh, confident about that. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to do two... Oops, that's a lot of... Uh, goo this is polyurethane so we're going to test that one first we'll see how that if the paper doesn't go all wobbly and wavy and i don't know what warping but we can just test it so this is the polyurethane like i said i'm going to be putting it out in the sun in a bit so that it'll dry real fast but this is it and I'm only going to print on the center part of this paper anyway, so this uh, I think that'll dry up pretty much um, waterproof, I'm hoping. So that's number one. Put that on the side there. Then we have the other one. And the other one we're going to use um, uh, gel medium. So let's see how that works. And all I want to do is get the uh, the middle part done. But I'm thinking that's going to be better because it's smoother. Here I see a lot of brush strokes. And uh, what you don't want to do is clog up your um, inkjet printer because that would be pretty expensive. Then uh, it would be easier to get your uh, prints to uh, a printer and have it printed on a laser jet. I think that's pretty much ooh. <laughs> I think that's pretty much covering it. I'm only going to do a little thing in the middle. That's it. Okay. So, um like I told you in the intro, uh at the end of the video, I'm going to be putting in um and uh they they call it a video out, something like that. And that's where you can add a link to a previous video. And I thought that would be cool because I have some really nice ones and I'm sure you would enjoy looking at them again. And that's what I'm going to put in there just to try it out. We'll see what happens. So um, I'll be right back when these are dry and then I'll print them. And then I will be back here doing the transfer. So thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Love you all to pieces. Okay guys, I'm back. I let it dry in the sun. I didn't iron it, but I I would, you know, if you're going to try this, 
you should iron because um, you want the paper as flat as possible. Now, there's something that I'm um, seeing. This is the polyurethane, and you can see that it is much intenser from color, but the definition isn't too good. And this one is the, uh, the gel medium. Now, I can sort of see it lying on top with all these little bottle, little pin, pin bubbles. But here's the difference, as you can see. So this is gel medium. This is polyurethane. Now, um, I'm going to go look for a couple of um, uh, pores that I've done that are really butt ugly. <laughs> Won't have any trouble with that. So I'll be right back and I will um, do that in one go. I'm going to put them on and then put them in the sun and then they'll be dry in no time so I can finish off this video. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Okay, we're back. Let's see if I didn't do the slow motion thing. Yeah, I gotta be careful with that. Um, okay, first we're gonna do the... Um, Oh, I left my brush out. Oh, that's okay. First, we're going to do the uh, polyurethane because I have the best feeling about that one. So I'm going to put on a nice thick layer. Like that. And we're going to put that rose on there. Smack in the middle. Uh -oh. See, it even came right through the uh, the print. We'll just put that on very carefully. Okay, that's number one. Then I have another one, which is... Uh, I think this was a test, it was some sort of a test thing. And I'm using polyurethane to do the transfer because we already know that that was better than with gel medium. So that's why I'm not using gel medium to transfer it because this one just was a little bit better. Okay, nice and smooth. Can you see how nice, nicely that really levels out? And this is the gel medium one, so we know exactly which one is which. Okay, I'm gonna be pressing down. Ooh, I don't think this is gonna work, guys. I already see um, printer ink seeping out from underneath, so that's not a good sign. And I think that's the problem you're gonna run into is that. Um, because the polyurethane is wet and the printer inked is going to run and spread out like crazy, but we'll see, right? It's all about experimenting. And I'll put those here. And I do want to show you um, the paintings I did with the new pouring medium. The one I'm really happy about is this one. As you can see, all those veins stayed in place and it's uh, it's dry right now. And it's really a beautiful piece. I love the I love the the colors that it's going through. I love the cells that here. I know that um, I I just you know torch this uh, uh, way a, a little bit later, but I love how the veins all stayed in place and it's kind of uh, nice to look at. And it's going to be very pretty once I varnish it. Now, this is the one where I put a lot of silicone. I put silicone in all colors. And as you can see, it just kept on growing, growing. This is the one where I, you know, put the ribbons on later. First I did a base without silicone, then I put ribbons on, and this is how it spread. Now, what I do like about it is this whole bit here. Look how long these cells went. They feathered out really beautifully, and I think it's a beautiful piece. 
Uh, once I varnish this one, it's going to be amazing. Look at this here. Look how it went. You know, it did come off the, uh, the canvas just a little because it wasn't totally level. And that's one thing you have to keep in mind. If you're going to be pouring with the, the thick pouring medium and Vallejo fluid, you have to level out your canvas, you know, where you're going to let it dry. That's so important. I can't even uh, stress it enough. But look at these beautiful, beautiful structures in the paint. Now that's something uh, different. And they don't even come out that well because of the colors I chose. But if you were to do this with uh, a lot of um, colors that, you know, if I, if I were to put more white in this or a yellow, then you get the contrast and it will really pop. But because of my color choice, it's not popping that much. But if you look at this, look how beautiful this is. This is awesome. You're going to have so much fun with that new pouring medium. I'm pretty sure you are. It's, it's going to be amazing. So uh, look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm going to put this in the sun and then I'll be right back. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, we're back. I let this stuff soak and I'm going to take it off. And I thought that it would turn out like this. So good thing that I didn't use my uh, good pores for this because it's, uh, it's a bit of a mess. Yeah, look at that. I'm even peeling off the whole thing here. But look at that. That is not pretty. That's not a pretty sight. It's just one blob. There's no uh, definition in the rows. See, I can even just peel it off. See that? That's not good. Okay, this is the polyurethane. That's a little better. Just a little bit, but it won't do. This is a mess. So uh, back to the drawing board, I guess. And of course I didn't let it dry totally. See that? That is where you, where you can just take off the uh, polyurethane thing. But look at that. That is nothing. That is no definition at all. It just, you know, soaked into the, uh, the polyurethane, I guess, with the paper. And it's just a little blob. <laughs> so we can put that to rest. It's always a good thing to have, you know, just test stuff out so you know what you're, what you're doing. Now, um, there was uh, someone, and sorry, forgot the name, but there was someone that said, you know what you can do? You can do that on wax paper. Um, the baking paper stuff. So I guess we could try that. I, I, I just might try to clean this off because then we can use this pour again. But as you can see, this is, um, this is a mess. So this isn't going to work. There's some of the dye that went into the paint. As you can see. Oh, I love this. I love this work. It's like peeling blisters. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep this one. We're going to use that again. Now let's see if we can take this one off. Yeah, I can, I can clean this off. I'll do that offline though, before I get really get into this. Okay guys, well there's still no sign of my drone. And um, I'm sort of getting a little worried about it because I ordered it like more than a week ago. But usually when stuff comes from China, uh, sometimes you get it really fast, like the humidifiers that I ordered. But sometimes you get it really slow and it can take up to a month. That's just the thing. I ordered brushes and uh, pellet knives from China and I'm telling you... Um, you know, good thing I paid it with my visa because they didn't send it. So I had to do a dispute and I got my money back, but I rather had the brushes and the pellet knives because people are waiting for those, but you can't win them all, right? So, um, 
I'm gonna stick this video together. Gonna do the uh, the end of the uh, the video with the link to another video. See if that's gonna work. Uh, I like experimenting, so that's kind of cool. There we go. And I have been watching uh, uh, videos about drones. I, I'm so into those drones at the moment. I don't know why. I think it's because it's a gadget. I'm just uh, a gadget freak. I uh, stood on one of those electric skateboards at work. And uh, I think I am the oldest team manager there. So a lot of people got up and took out their phones and started videoing me on the skateboard. <laughs> thinking I was going to make a real big smack on the floor. But I'm pretty good about that. I got my balance. Still have. So, okay guys. See you all um, in the next video. Which might even be tomorrow. Because I'm looking forward to doing some pouring with Vallejo Fluid. And the thick pouring medium. I just want to test some stuff out. I want to add a little PVA. Just to see if I can contain those cells. Just a little bit. But I'll take you along for the ride. So you'll see what's going to happen. So thanks all for watching. Love you all to pieces as usual. And I'm wishing you a very beautiful Tuesday. So see you all later. Bye bye.